It is uh, October 23rd, 2019. My name is Eric Holuzic with All Corners Home Inspections. This is the first of what will be several supplemental crawl space evaluation videos for this single family home, excuse me, this duplex here on Jefferson in Dallas, Oregon. As with all the videos in this report, we request that you view this video as supplemental to the written version of the report to which this video has been attached. It gives you a sense of orientation. Uh, this, this sort of inside corner here that we're looking at, right there, that would be the far southeast corner of the structure. So we turn around in this direction in a counterclockwise manner, that would be the northeast corner. So there's your points of orientation. The challenges that present themselves at this portion of the crawl space are a couple. We have a couple of unsecured uh, outlets in the crawl space, one here and one there. That's at the south side. This would be at the uh, the east side. This is a you have a burnt outlet at this location here. This is an indication that uh, the circuit was uh, short circuited or uh, underpowered or overpowered at a certain point. The the structure appears to be well supported. Uh, however, the, there's really, really no consistency in terms of the field support. So if you think about a, a foundation as being a combination of perimeter support, in this case, the perimeter is formed in this location, at least by uh, brickwork, uh, and then the field support is would be this series of piers and posts that form a, a grid or network on, along the interior portion of the living space. We're seeing a combination of like 14 by 14, that block there would be like a 14 by 14, a 12 by 12, a series of two by sixes, and then again, additional blocks, additional four by four, what have you. So there's really no consistency in terms of the, in terms of the, of the, of the support around the structure. And then, and then in a few areas we're seeing uh, over spanning. This is a, this is a girder. So this would be the joist here would be the joist and then there's a girder at this location here. This girder is a 4x4. Four four. Typically the uh, the post load path characteristics or the, or the absolute load characteristics of a 4x4 four four are going to be exceeded by the weight of a house. You would recommend that this portion of the structure be supported by 2 by material, excuse me, by 6x material rather than uh, like 2x6 material or 4x6 four material rather than 4x4. Uh, four we do see signs that there's been historic uh, water infiltration into the crawl space, but at the time of inspection, we're seeing no signs of uh, any sort of active challenges. But the house of this era, we would expect to see this sort of thing uh, as the home sort of works through different uh, dif different owners and with different owners really caring more or less about the uh, quality and con uh, condition of the structure. We're going to turn towards the towards the north, and then, so we're looking sort of north and uh, north, and then east. Uh, we have a girder at this location, which has um, these tubes, these sort of mud tubes along the girder. That's those are signs, sort of characteristic signs of wood destroying organisms, termites, at that location. We do not see that they've worked their way into the floor joists. However, the girder at this location appears to be impacted by. Uh, wood destroying organisms. You can see their little pallet holes uh, working into the wood structure there. There is an intact vapor barrier on the ground and insulation in between the floor joists. We'll take a couple more videos, uh, but this is the conclusion of this one. This has been Eric Kaluzic with All Corners Home Inspections.